Hello everybody and welcome to Structural Equation Modeling 2. I am Sasha Epskamp and I'm teaching this course. Uh, and assisting me in this course are Mirte Veenman and Sander Geiger. And first of all, I really hope that you're all healthy and you're doing well. And your family and friends are all healthy as well. It's a very bizarre time. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, live sessions for this course this year. So um, all lectures will be like this on, on YouTube just like in Structural Equation Modeling 1. So this course is designed as a follow-up for Structural Equation Modeling 1. And it's really assumed that you uh, did Structural Equation Modeling 1 as well. Um, so if you're following this course uh, online as well, please look at the playlist for Structural Equation Modeling 1 from this year as well, which I'll link below in the, in the, in the description of the video. Okay, in this course, we're going to go much more in detail on uh, the mathematics behind structural equation modeling. And also, um, we're going to expand the confirmative effect analysis framework to include structural effects, which are basically like direct effects between latent variables. And we're going to talk a bit about some new uh, topics uh, like uh, network analysis and panel data models, uh, some time series models in week three or week four and week three, we'll talk about uh, causality and a bit more about the, philosoph the philosophy of science. Uh, and then in the final project, you will be able to teach each other more things about SEM as well. So this, this course is a bit less structured than uh, SEM 1. It's, uh, every lecture is more like different topics, really. Um, but um, And we'll be doing a bit more technical things. So this is the syllabus for Structural Equation Modeling 2. Uh, this is the team. And please use Canvas for all communications throughout the course. That's pretty important. Uh, Canvas will be our virtual classroom, so since we're lacking a real classroom. And uh, especially in this time, my email inbox is just one huge mess. So if you mail me, I, I don't see it. Uh, I will miss it. I might see it in a few days or something. And it's much nicer to have everything clean on Canvas. Uh, preferably you also use the chat function or the discussion board on Canvas if you can. All right, then um, the measures that we took because of the coronavirus will be uh, the same as in SEM1. So all classes are canceled on Tuesday. On Thursday, we'll have a Zoom practical. That will start at 1 for Structural Equation Modeling 2. They will won't last two hours. In SEM1, they took like half an hour at most usually. So it's just some time where you can... Uh, uh, discuss the assignment, things like that. It will be unstructured, so you don't have to be in there if you don't want to. And we'll record them as well. So we'll put the recording online uh, on Canvas, so not uh, publicly. And um, these are really aimed for like some general questions and things like that. There will be no lectures on Tuesday. Instead, I'm going to upload all videos like this one. Grading, there's a final project and there are individual assignments. So just like Sam 1, it's 50-50. Okay, and this is the schedule. Uh, we have five weeks. This gives us a bit more space and flexibility than we had in Structural Equation Modeling 1. I'll aim to have all the uh, lectures online by Tuesday at 1 o'clock the latest. Now, I've been working ahead quite a lot in Structural Equation Modeling 1, so I was usually a week earlier as well. And actually, this one is already online. So um, you can already start doing it if you want. Then the assignment deadlines will be on Tuesday uh, the next week. So the assignment will be made available here. One, two, three, four. Uh, so there's no assignment for. And then uh, they're due one week later. All right, then uh, this is a free day. So we don't have a Zoom meeting then. Instead, the last week we have uh, two times for Zoom practicals if needed. We'll do this on, I think for sure. This one, we'll see if it's needed or not. And then we have the final project on uh, Friday as deadline. Good, so what's the schedule? In the first week, we're going to actually take a step back. You can see that like as, as a prequel to SEM1. So we had uh, the timeline is SEM1, then, uh, then this, and then the rest is after SEM1 actually. So it's a bit weird, but uh, there's a reason for that. And that's because we're going to learn about expectation algebra and covariance algebra, which we're going to use to derive this expression, uh, lambda psi, 
on the transpose plus theta, so that you know where that comes from. And then we're going to say, okay, we're not going to do this anymore. We're going to use the beautiful expression lambda i minus beta inverse psi i minus beta inverse transpose lambda transpose plus and fits just barely there plus theta. And that will be our new expression that we're going to work with in SAM2. And you'll understand what it is and where it comes from. And you can do it yourself as well. And we're also actually going to talk a bit about Dungeons and Dragons and gambling and online video games in this week. All right. Week two, we'll actually just actually introduce SAM. And really what there is in SAM, all this to it is really just adding this beta matrix. And with that, we can just add like an, a directed arrow between latents. The rest is all the same as in CFA modeling, because it's already SAM, so fitnesses and stuff is all the same. So there's not that much to talk about. Of course, you can do a lot with it then. Because this flexibility adds so much flexibility that we can do like a lot of models. So uh, in this week, we're just going to learn like the basics behind adding this thing. And then uh, week three, we take a step back again, and we go to learn about... Uh, a bit about the philosophy of science behind SEM, where you can take a causal hypothesis uh, or a causal reasoning in these SEM diagrams. Then week four is really more related to my work as well, and also to more current issues, things that many people are doing now in SEM. Right, so all, all this here, that's like uh, 90s, and maybe earlier even something. It's not entirely new. Um, this is new. Right, so if you want to uh, do a PhD in, uh, in methods, for example, you want to focus on structural equation modeling, these are some topics that will be like things that people are working on as well. So that's why I wanted to add that in the last uh, lecture as well. Now, this is also optional. So there won't be an assignment about this. So it's, it's, it's optional as well, but it's of course nice. And then uh, in week five, we only really have a wrap-up week where we, uh, we maybe zoom a bit. Okay, then the final project. The idea behind the final project is that you are going to make, or actually we are all going to make a, a big playlist of videos where each of you explains a certain advanced topic in social equation modeling to your peers and your fellow classmates. And uh, this video playlist will be uh, private. I think I'll, I'll uh, put it on YouTube unlisted so you can only see with a, a, a link. So all your classmates can see it, but nobody else. But if you want, we can also add uh, a few of these videos or your video publicly, like, like all of these videos as well, uh, if you like. But that's not necessary. Um, but the idea is really that we're going to uh, teach things to each other. So there are many different things that we can do in SAM. Like this is uh, all kinds of stuff, like continuous time modeling, mimic modeling, where we have like... Uh, a reflective model, CFA model, but also a formative model, that kind of stuff. You have like uh, all kinds of dynamic factor models over time, stuff like that. Multi-level SEM, that's a very important topic where we have data, for example, with classrooms, and we have a model within the classroom and between classrooms and things like that. Uh, lasso regularization, uh, that's a topic. Um, I think Bayesian estimation we can put in here. Don't know why I didn't put it in there, but of course, base, a lot of things you can do with it. It already came up a bit during some early discussions as well. Um, different data variable models, I'd say like, like IRT is a beautiful thing. It's nice to learn about as well. And uh, well, like, like partially squares modeling, also a very big topic as well in the similar world. You can even do something more theoretical, like parsimony or network modeling, if you did not do network analysis. Or if you did, you can just do something very advanced with psychonetics and stuff. All right, so uh, I didn't put it in there, but psychonetics is really awesome. It has like latent network models and residual network models and dynamical factor models and, and other things. So you can also uh, talk about that. So that's the idea. And then uh, you can do that in groups of, uh, well, you can do it alone, because everything you can do in this course you can do alone. But you can also work together with one or two fellow classmates. And the idea is that, of course, we cannot present to each other, so we're going to make these videos. So you can do that in software like I use now. 
This is the Logitech recording software, which I'm going to couple with uh, the Adobe Premiere Rush to uh, make my video. But another really nice one is Camtasia that I used before. Oh, I just stopped using it because the frame rate wasn't as much as I liked it to be. But uh, one easy solution is also just to use Zoom. Which is very easy. You, you just basically you open your own session with it and you record that. And there's actually a button for that in Zoom. So that's a nice uh, alternative as well. Okay, right, and that's, uh, oh yeah. Then if you want to do something else with the final project, there are alternative options as well. So you can also make, for example, something else. So if you have your own data, for example, some people have their own data and they want to an analyze it, they're uh, some of you are not uh, RISMA students, but PhD students, and they uh, uh, already uh, want to start doing something, that's fine. As long as it's really just like an actual real data problem, like not something contrived, something you want to do with, some, uh, something as well. And of course, it shouldn't be the case that you're doing like your thesis work here, right? So you should do something else as well. Uh, you can do like a simulation study. Or maybe write a tutorial. You can put it on the Psychonetics website if you want. So that can all be really nice. And if you have anything else in mind, like something you think would be really nice to focus your time on during SAM 2, then just let us know and we can probably figure something out. Okay, that's it for the introduction to Structural Crazy Modeling 2.